you're going to get to see a big light brown color home with green chairs in the pool area. Summer home of the famous actor from Rush Hour, Jackie Chan, Shanghong. Casa Grande, Sessions Cafe, Sosuno, Sillas Verdes, and Alara de la Piscina, Mansion de Verano, the famoso actor de Rush Hour, Jackie Chan. Home of the left here with the green chairs, Casa Grande, La Vizuela, Buenos Sillas Verdes. And guys, you can also live the life of Jackie Chan because you can rent this home on Airbnb. You can also live the life of Jackie Chan because you can rent this home on Airbnb. So right after the home on the construction, después de la mansión bajo construcción, there's a white mansion with a white and blue boat on it. Home of Mexican singer known as the Golden Girl, Paulina Rubio. Casa Blanca, cubierta por los árboles, con un barquito blanco y azul elevado fuera del agua. De la cantante latina mexicana, la chica dorada, Paulina Rubio. Home on the left, mansión directamente del lado izquierdo. Right after the red color home, this was the La Casa Roja, the white mansion covered by the, uh, I mean, the white mansion with the gray bow ties. This is the mansion of Mike Krager. He's the founder of Instagram, which he sold to Facebook for one billion dollars. The mansion black and white by Gopis, the pertinent to Mike Krager, for the other application of Instagram, the quality of your Facebook for one billion dollars. Mike Krager. Of the island, the primera está a la esquina de la isla. It's coming up, it's going to have a white yacht by the name of Alicia in front of a pink and white cutter home. Um, home with the songwriter and singer Alicia Keys coming up. Once we make this spin, you guys in the right will, will see that mansion. Very great cabana or pool house, then right behind is the main home. La casa pequeña dos pisos gris, aquí a la derecha detrás está la mansión principal. The pool house was used and occupied by the chauffeurs and bodyguards of gangster mobster from Chicago, Al Capone. Al Capone bought his mansion here in 1928 for $40,000. He lived in it from 1928 to 1947. The seven years of those 19 years, he lived in an more exclusive and private island with daily room service. Alcatraz, the prison of Alcatraz. The main home is right behind. La casa pequeña dos pisos, utilizada por los choferes y guardaespaldas del gangster mafioso de Chicago, Al Capone. Que compró la mansión principal que está escondida al fondo en 1928 por 40 mil dólares. Vivió aquí desde 1928 a 1947. 17 años, que son 19 años, dos vivió en una isla mucho más exclusiva y privada, la prisión de Alcatraz. We're heading to Star Island. Está cubierta por mucha vegetación con una pared de dos colores. This is the mention of the rapper record producer that pertenece al rapero y productor Sean John Puffy Cole, better known as mejor conocido como Puff Daddy, P Diddy, Diddy, Diddy Dirty Money, Diddy Love, whatever you want to call him. One of the ex 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 boyfriends of Jennifer Lopez. One of the ex 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 novios de Jayla. So one of them right here, Diddy's house, was one of the ex. Home with an orange roof, which is for all the girls that he's loved before. Former home of my father in law, Spanish singer Julio Iglesias. He doesn't know he's my father in law, of course. Casa Blanca de Techo Naranja para todas las mujeres que amo. Una de las tantas casas que le perteneció aquí a mi suegro, el cantante español Julio Iglesias. Es que no lo sabe todavía, se va a enterar tampoco. Por la iglesia. Pleno vacío. The light beige color home coming up. It's the $40 million mansion of Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez. They bought it together in November of last year. So yes, at one point in time we had here the ex and the ex as neighbors. Puff Daddy A-Rod. Welcome to Miami. Aquí está la mansión de 40 millones de dólares de Jennifer Lopez y Alex Rodriguez. Ellos la compraron juntos en noviembre del año pasado. Así que tenemos aquí el ex y el ex de vecinos. Felices los cuatro. Puff Daddy A-Rod. Si 
Si pueden tomar asiento atrás, que me están bloqueando las personas que están sentadas. Guys, can you have a seat in the back, please? Que they can't see behind you. Thank you. This entire property to the right took a little bit more than three years to build, and it cost us over $50 million. Each palm tree imported from Africa at a cost of $10,000 each. There are 32 palm trees, guys, and our back, that's just the greenhouse, then the tennis court. Then we're going to be approaching the 28,000 square foot mansion of Dr. Philip Frost. He's a former president of IVAX Pharmaceuticals, second largest pharmaceutical company in the U.S. And gentlemen, he had a lot to do with the famous blue pill created by Pfizer. The one for the heart, right? That one. Toda esta propiedad tardó un poquito más de tres años en construir a costo de más de 50 millones de dólares. Cada par me dice importada desde África en costo de 1,000 dólares por año en Es una propiedad de 125 millones de dólares que paga más de 800 mil dólares al año en impuestos. Two people live here, Dr. Philip Frost and his wife Patricia Frost, they have no children. Dos personas viven aquí en el Dr. Philip Frost y su esposa no tienen hijos. All right, guys, the white mansion coming up has been used in many music videos by the one and only DJ Paddy. The mansion black that we're going to continue has been used in many music videos. All right, guys, uh, coming up, the next mansion is the home of Stuart Miller. He's the owner of the construction companies in Miami, Lanar Homes. He does own eight mansions on this island. Esta mansión le pertenece al señor Stuart Miller, dueño de las conductoras de Miami, Lanar, dueño de ocho mansiones en la isla. If you take a look at the property, there are two buildings. The building is on the left-hand side, beige in color. Used to be once on the right-hand side of the lot. Stuart Miller wanted to demolish the building, but the city said no. So he lifted up from the ground, he moved it to the left-hand side, and then he built the mansion right next to it. All that he could do with money, huh? Hay dos edificios en la propiedad, el color beige, se encontraba una vez al lado derecho del terreno, el señor lo quería derrumbar, la ciudad le dijo que no lo podía hacer, él lo levantó del piso, lo movió para el lado izquierdo, y después hizo la mansión al lado. Shaquille O'Neal, coming up. Shaq bought the mansion here for $23 million, but in 2009, he sold it for $16 million to Russian billionaire Vladislav. Doroni, ex-boyfriend of the famous model Naomi Campbell, he took a $7 million loss. So coming up, former home of Shaq. Esta mansión le perteneció al jugador de baloncesto Shaquille O'Neal, la compró por 23 millones, en el 2009 la vendió por 16 millones. Al ruso billonario Vladislav Doroni, ex doble de la famosa modelo Naomi Campbell, perdió 7 millones y 12 dólares. So former home of Shaq right here. Home of Sylvester Stallone, who we know as Rocky Balboa, Rambo. That's the one who is Beige Casibo. That's the one who is Sylvester Stallone, who we know as Rocky Balboa, Rambo. The main home is right behind the palm trees there. The most famous part of the house is the palm trees. with the orange roof. Guys, this is another property of former soccer player and model David Beckham and Victoria Beckham. This is a $35 million mansion. Esta mansión blanca grande muy bonita, mansión de 35 millones de dólares que también le pertenece a David Beckham y Victoria Beckham. The next two pink color homes were Tropical Style Mansions, homes of Cuban singer Gloria Estefan and husband Emilio Estefan. The mansion on the right is a $4 million recording studio. The two mansions are embossed with tropical style mansions, Juana Gloria Estefan and her husband Emilio Estefan. The mansion on the left is a studio of gravation of $4 million. Next to Gloria, the next mansion was used in the filming of Bad Boys. 
with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. La próxima canción se utiliza la filmación de Chicos Panos con Will Smith y Martin Lawrence. Bad Boys Horn. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go with the white home on the corner, Mansión Blanca Casa Esquina. This is the mansion that was used in the filming of Scarface with Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer. Mansión que se utilizó en la filmación de Cara Gordada con Al Pacino y Michelle Pfeiffer. This is now the $40 million mansion of Lisa Hunstein from Real Miami Housewives. Connection to mainland. The only way that we can get to Fisher Island is by the ferry boats, private yacht, or private helicopter. Now we have the Fisher Island. This is the only island that has no bridges that connect to it. To get to Fisher Island, you have to take the ferries, private or helicopter. Fisher Island to your left is a small private sea. It's self-contained and has everything in it. If you want to spend a night at the hotel Fisher Island, you can do so for a starting price of $900 a night. To be a member of the private club, $250,000 a year. And the minimums and Fisher start from about $1 million and can easily escalate to $35 million with a maintenance fee of $6,000 a month. La isla privada de Fisher Island es una pequeña ciudad que tiene de todo para pasar una nochecita en el hotel de Fisher Island o puede hacer empezando desde los 900 dólares para ser miembro del club privado 250 mil dólares en los seniors en las 24 horas. The Port of Miami generates 170. Actually, the Port of Miami generates 335,000 jobs and it has an economic impact in the state of Florida of 43 billion dollars. Tenemos la parte comercial del puerto de Miami, las dos gigantescas importadas de China, un costo de 10 y 12 millones de dólares cada una, están aquí para acelerar el proceso de carga de descarga de sus buques. Pueden descargar hasta 3.000 contenedores en 12 24 horas. El puerto de Miami genera 335.000 empleos y tiene un impacto económico en el estado de la Florida de 43 millones. So ladies and gentlemen, all the small islands that we have visited today, there are man-made islands built back by Pearl Fisher in the 1900s. There are 23 islands on this Bay. 21 of these islands were built by Pearl Fisher. Pearl Fisher came from Indiana with eight million dollars. He built the islands. He sold them to the city of Miami for 88 million dollars. He invested his money in the stock market in New York. Three days after, he crashed. He lost all the eight million. He came back with that penny when he died in 1939 at the age of 65. Todas estas pequeñas islas que hemos visitado son islas artificiales construidas por el señor Pearl Fisher en los años 1900. Hay 23 islas en la bahía de Biscayne y una de esas islas fueron construidas por este señor. El señor Pearl Fisher vino de Indiana con 8 millones de dólares, construyó las islas, se las vendió a la ciudad de Miami con 88 millones de dólares, invirtió su dinero en la bolsa de valores de Nueva York. Tres días después esta quebró y lo perdió completamente todo.